show more shark. Yeah. So we're gonna show the mullet, the leader of the mullet nation, <laughs> because I mean, come on, it's shark. You gotta, Dude, you gotta show this guy. I have to give uh, Chaos a little bit of intel about shark. He has been playing so well on this game. I'm not gonna lie. He is really adapted very, very quickly. So. Don't worry, Chaos. I think it may be a successful season for TK. Yeah, no, he's not washed. He's not washed. He's not well. He, <laughs> we he just got shut down straight you away. You know, we've been, we been making jokes about it, like, all day because uh, Sharp is, you know, Sharp's a, you know, he's a young dude, but he's been around the scene for a very long time, so he's technically a veteran. But he's but so he, young. He's, he's young. He's only, like, 21. So it's actually quite surprising to see that. But, of course, uh, what we're checking out here is capture the flag on the map Ascend. And I really enjoy Ascend, and the reason is because it's a traditional Call of Duty map, three lane style, really has that feel to it that we, what we've seen before, but obviously with the added twist of the exosuit right. being able to get on top of rooftops and whatnot. Yeah, you have to kind of think of maps now as layered as well. Not only is it three lanes, but it also has those extra layers on top oh, that yeah. you can try and boost towards and, and get up and, and put yourself in a nice little position. Unfortunately, he burns off, does go down. Neslo thinking about changing class. Go back to Sharp, see what he's up to. He's actually just in the enemy's base here, so he can actually go for a pull, Ooh. but sadly gets shut down as soon as he tries to make those moves. Yeah, that's right. Kunjar, though, of course, is uh, going to be rocking that IMR, and he pops that stim so that this way he can regenerate his health quicker, as you can clearly see right there. Very smart play out of him, trying to stay alive long enough to be able to get this Goliath, which is actually going to be sitting at 450 points remaining here. He's about halfway there, so this could be pretty big for them if they can get this. A big kill. That's going to be oh, 200 remaining. Double as well for oh, him. That was Brilliantly nasty. played. He doesn't have a stim, though, so he's going to have to wait for his health to regen naturally. He's 100 points away, and I guarantee you, Kunjar, right now is like, I better get this cap. I did not want that flag. It fell on top of me. Is he going to get it? Yes, yes, he is. And now Curse are in for a world of pain as that Goliath is going to just do nasty, nasty things to them. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun to watch in a little bit when Gunjar decides to bust out the Goliath. he's going to use it this half? He may wait and try and get the full benefit of it in the second half. Uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, we have three minutes left in this. The score is only going to be one to zero, so I wouldn't be opposed to it. But Crosser trying to go with the hit fire there actually had his aimer on the player, but he had to actually go for the ADS because, of course, you know, you want to make sure that you get the most precision aim possible. And we have uh, Burns actually caps the flag for Curse now, making it one to one. But there is going to be some pressure, though, immediately thwarted as TK is going to get taken off by Curse after Burns got that cap. Nice little push as well coming in from Burns, pushing down this right hand side lane. And there yeah, we go. Goonja decided he wants to use it. Uh, you're going to see him now just completely wreck face with this. It's uh, pretty tough to get. So, fair play to Goonja. I mean, let's not forget, he had to get a two piece with the flag and then cap the flag as well. So, he worked really hard for this. And hopefully he can try and get a couple of kills. The problem is, Curse, of course, are going to know he has it. And you're not that mobile in a yeah. game. So it's very, very tough to actually move around. So Curse, if they play it right, and they put on Overclock, they may be able to get away. And you see there, the players from Curse just trying to boost away, make sure that Kunjar can't rack up that many kills in this. Yeah, he's about halfway health, as a matter of fact. And uh, it's actually quite interesting to see, because there's going to be some spots that he won't be able to get through with that Goliath right. because of the size of it. And we'll go ahead and take a trip back to a couple of the other guys and see what's going on. But seems like Goon is just going to be this uh, human turret here with <laughs> Goliath just picking off kills as best he can. And the Goonjar. problem is, look at this, the flag has been pulled and he's not in a position, he's not quick enough. So Enable is going to sneak through with oh! the flag. No, he does finally get shut down as Goonjar, the, the human Terminator, just trying to chase after him. Luckily, he did manage to stop that flag for a minute there. I thought that would have been cursed with a nice little cap, but TK are going to reply. It's Neslo with the flag. He isn't going to have that much team support, but Goonja doing a good job slaying, and that's going to be 2-1 now for TK. I actually wonder if an EMP... 11 and 3, Goonja. If an EMP drops on a Goliath. Oh, does it disable it? Does it disable the Goliath and make you just a sitting duck for you to just be able to just shoot with bullets? That's constantly a great shoot? question. Again, that's uh, a question that we're going to have to try and actually test or hopefully someone from Curse throws an EMP at it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be stupendous. I would really like that, of course. But I think the Goliath is going to end up getting taken out. You can you can kill it with you know with bullets, obviously. But you need to, you need to concentrate as a team. And yeah, you there isn't going to be enough time it. because Theory is going to run in the third cap. And of course, that is going to be the end of the first half. Gunja's looking over as if to say, I did good. Goon's face, his little smirk. He's like, so, yep, I just wrecked face. <laughs> of course, Curse Guy is going to be looking to respond in the second half here and see what they're going to be able to bring to the table, of course, as we jump into this one. Capture the flag, ascend round two. Let's see what's going to happen here. Now, I, I really, you know, I want to see if that actually is the case. I, I'm just... The EMP it's, on the Yeah, line. it's in the back of my mind. See, I mean, it that, has to that's work. That's so much stuff that we... Obviously, not going to know unless we actually see. Obviously, we can actually go into a, a game ourselves after this and try and try it out. Yeah. But I'm not going to let you kill me to get Goliath, so it's going to have to be 
you okay me the okay we're, we're doing that we're okay. doing that all right and then don't we'll forget give, we'll who, give everyone an answer don't what's forget who actually mind. competed in call of oh, duty okay. versus who no longer you. competes and is also washed <laughs> anyway there he is coming up the kill <laughs> nicely terrible. played from him <laughs> and he's going to be working towards that first uav 400 points away Sharp. yes he's 19. oh he also is using something pretty interesting there Yes, that's right. We actually have to bust out our... I just kind of want to wait to see him respawn just to see if he has changed class. In fact, he has not changed class. Now, this is the first time we've actually seen anyone use this. First of all, the Tech 19, as you were saying, that's pretty awesome. He's using that explosive drone as his uh, sort of tactical. He gets a hit mark with Ooh. the shotgun, and you see that. That's the first time we've actually seen someone shoot the shotgun. There's no bullet. It's a pulse of energy. Yeah. More than anything else. It's like... It's like Basically, just blowing on, on someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just it's like it's it, you know I dubbed it the dubstep gun. The dubstep why because it's like it's, it shoots a wub wub at you. Sh shoots a wub wub at you. Yeah. All right. Well, the dubstep gun that was uh, the weapon of choice. It's all I, I you know again when I went to the MP reveal uh, and ho oh, sharp actually just picked off someone with that because you one shot one kill. It's actually gonna be someone with the drone. He gets hit markers. He's able to take him out there. But when I was at the MP reveal, so many people were using the TAC-19. It was just right. like, I don't know, it was probably the most frustrating thing to play against because every time I spawn, I managed to find someone with a TAC-19. And then when I picked it up, I was like, oh, that's why this is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, it's a great weapon to use there. And looking at Kroos, who's going to be using that ASM-1 with the four grip there, as well as that laser sight to give him that extra health. Uh oh oh, oh, shot just wow. dropped down and just destroyed him. A uh, quick shot to the face, and TK should be able to get a cap out of that, I believe. But no, Moach is in a position to try and go for another counter cap and five Using that down. bolt shot pistol, by the way. This is going to be interesting to see if he can uh, try and get Ooh, any kills so with it. But that flag is actually it. down. The EMP Whoa. goes flying over his head. It's going to oh. have to reboot his EXO. But luckily, he does get that flag cap. And obviously, that pistol, so, so lethal. As long as you actually connect with that shot, if you miss, though, you, it's actually become a sitting duck. Yeah, that's right. I mean, because that reload time is absolutely insane. Mochilla, though, again, the guy who I have dubbed the human auto turret now actually has the ability to become a human <laughs> auto turret thanks to that Goliath score streak there. Mochilla's going to find one player there with that IMR. He's going to look for another one as well. Try and challenge him around the corner. Player's going to run away, and he tries to use oh! it. Oh, the bolt shot pistol. Not enough there as he's going to get cleaned up by Neslo and the crew from TK Flag's going to be down right in front of him. They got to make this one happen as they get the oh, return. Shots coming in as well from Team Curse. Croster with a big, big play. Managed to get the return and he's gone for the pull. Gets a UAV for his efforts and he is long gone down this right-hand side lane. It's going to be TK who are going to be chasing. Cap. UAV has been called in. He looks pretty safe on the minimap. His team are going to get the cutoffs, but you see Crow not going to risk anything. He's actually gone the long way around. Didn't even want to jump over those ledges. We've seen a couple of players fail those jumps, and he's not even going to jump up. He's literally going to run that flag in and makes it to a safe play from Crow. Yeah, well, let's see what they're going to do. They have about a minute and 33 seconds left to hold this one down. If they win this, I believe we're going to go overtime. to overtime, so that will be pretty awesome to watch. Burns able to come out Another on top overtime, there. Another overtime, it's <laughs> worth mentioning. I know, right? Hey, at the very least, it's good for the guys at home who are oh. Watching. Absolutely. I know they want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and, uh, you know, we're fitting to get to them. So with that <laughs> said, Theory now. And, okay, so just to highlight this again, if you guys are noticing that he's running with the gun on the ready, that's the Gun Ho perk, which allows right. you to run and also have the ability to, uh, when you're sprinting, you have the ability to shoot from the hip. So it's quite useful. We haven't seen it used all that much just yet, but I'm, I'm expecting that as this game evolves, as people begin to learn how to utilize a lot of these perks, we're going to see that come to fruition Look without at that a doubt. movement by Burns, by the way. Nice little jump up top, trying to make it very difficult for anyone following me. He's going to be able to run this home, and that is oh. going to be the third cap. There was a play from TK there, who was trying to put a stop to it, but the high five's coming from Curse, and that is going to be overtime now, Golden Boy. Nice stuff there. We're going to have overtime, and as you guys know, overtime works the exact same way as what you'd expect in Capture the Flag. Stopwatch stop rules, baby. Love it. What's interesting is the big difference in stopwatch between uplink and CTF. CTF, you have five minutes. Uplink starts actually the full three minutes. So, really? Yeah, so you actually have more time in CTF to try and get a capture. Yeah, well, that's a... So, well, of course, it makes sense, right? Because you actually have to go get the flag and then bring yeah. it back. So, so you need that extra time. Yeah, right? of course, of course. Makes a lot of sense there. But that's a, a good thing to note there. Burns off now, of course, finding a couple players and is actually finding one player in his sight. Meanwhile, his team is going to be cleaning up some of the members of TK, but Sharp now off the respawn. Let's see what he's going to be spawning with here. That is going to be the KF5 submachine gun, which has been the favored amongst a lot of the pro players here. The KF5 
and I, I'll say it again, it has a UMP feel to it, a UMP MW2 feel for right. it. So if any of you guys enjoy that, or maybe even the UMP oh. in MW3, you might actually enjoy using the KF5 too. And what's interesting as well, Sharp actually equips with the stun. We haven't really seen the stun grenades being utilized that much, especially people really enjoying the EMPs. Mm -hmm. So that's been the, the go-to. Speaking of EMPs, that's exactly what Theory has. That's right. He has two of them. Yeah, and that's something cool. I got to highlight here too about the stuns is that they kind of function as a stun slash flash, flash grenade too. Right. Yeah. You, you get slowed down and you end up getting impaired vision, but the impaired vision does not last nearly as long as it did on a flash grenade, uh, you know, like you would find in perhaps maybe Black Ops 2 if it hits you directly at your feet. So just an FYI for anyone who might have a red flag about that, right. as actually the flag was dropped there and was returned by Croster. Seems like we're gonna have a very close matchup here between these two teams. Prost are really very dominant on Advanced Warfare from what we've seen so far. I look forward to watching him play over the next couple of days as well. Good plays coming from him, but his teammates actually do go down, so Prost is gonna have to try and make some plays. He is over at the TK flag, but Neslo tried to pull Curse's flag away. He does go down. Sharp now in a nice little position here, but with those stuns, we need to really see him try and utilize them. Yeah, he has to be very careful here too, because the thing about Advanced Warfare and something I'm noticing is just you cannot be complacent with just relaxing in a corner. You you really have to play a little bit more aggressive, in my personal opinion. Of course, there's always those instances where, you know, it would be good to look and kind of post up on a corner. But the thing about it is I, I just don't feel like, you know, you'll run away with the flag so much quicker as we're seeing right here. Neslo, though, on the other hand, he does have that flag, putting some shots forward, get some hit markers. And he's actually going to find return his it. flag and return it. That's going to be huge. Shots going down, boosting oh. away. He couldn't get quite make his way out of that one. Now that flag has been picked up by Enable. He needs to pick up the kill. Is he going to get it? Yes, he is. Gets the return as well. That's huge play coming from Enable. Now, can he try and get a cap? He's got a kill under his name with the flag, but shot from behind. I don't think that play from Curse that was supporting him actually got that kill either. So both flags return to base. That's going to be 2 minutes 20. And if you're new to, to watching Call of Duty and you're not really sure how stopwatch works, if there is no caps in the first side, it essentially goes over to the second side and it's first to cap wins. Oh, very, very interesting there. Of course, I know a lot of people are, are interested in knowing that information, Ben. And some payback there from Machilla. That was actually a player that ended up taking him out. In his last spawn, he was able to get that revenge. And look at that. He actually have four guys down right now for Team Caliber. This could be the opportunity as Burns Off is going to be making his way over toward that flag. So oh, close. He actually botches it, hits a wall, gets out of it. Shots exchange, and he's go. able to cap it. And that is going to be quite dangerous, Benson, because, well, it's, it's a lot of time on the clock for TK to work with. Yeah, it is a lot of time. But at the same time, I expect to see Curse continue with that aggression. Now they're going to rest on their laurels. They're going to be aggressive. And what's key to note is Burns got a UAV from that capture. That's going to be so helpful for him. And he's going to call that in straight away. So now, TK, three minutes on the clock to try and get the cap. Three plays immediately go down oh, wow. for Curse. So Burns is basically going to say, well, guys, I just called in a UAV. Come on. Help yeah, me come out. on, bro. A couple brother out. So uh, TK pulled the flag as well. That's right. And oh, man, goodness, Curse could not quite come through with that one. But still, the flag has gone down. No one has been able to pick it up just yet. So while Curse was again washed up there just a little bit, they were able to survive long enough to be able to stop that flag carrier and return that flag back to the base. But there's going to be a TK member who has been called out, pushing over to the Curse flag. Grosser on the prowl as he knows this player could potentially look to go the same route, and he oh, predicts it, but no, he couldn't win Neslo. the gun battle. Neslo coming up clutch. Neslo just destroyed Crota. Crota knew he was there. Now he is Neslo going to try and use overclock? That would be perfect. It's just this would be the best time to use it. Boost. He hasn't used it, but he is trying to. See if he can get the flag in the enemy base. The flag has been countable by someone from Curse. Curse player is running it away. And right now we have a good old-fashioned stalemate. The Neslo staying alive. Gets a UAV as well. However, Burns off with the flag for Curse. He's to the other side as well. So a good old-fashioned stalemate. Got he's dropped it. Neslo has dropped the flag. He's going to get the flag cap. And Burns gets it. And that is going to be Team Curse picking up wow. the victory. What a great game, I have to say. Because one thing that you got to point out there, Ben, is that it looked like Team Caliber pretty much had it locked down, and Neslo won that crucial gun battle at the right. flag and was able to push it far across 